for the question. Uh, my name is Mohammad Ashraf. Uh, my question is, uh, I'm a student. My question is, uh, uh, many Orientalists uh, claim or rather allege that uh, the Prophet, peace be upon him, wrote the Quran for the moral uh, reformation of the Arabs and uh, attributed it to God for better acceptability. The brother has posed the question, and I do agree with him, that some of the Orientalists have said that the beloved Prophet Muhammad, may peace be upon him, he told a lie, Nauz Billah, by saying the Quran is the word of God, so that he could reform the Arabs. I do agree that the message of the Quran and the intention of Prophet Muhammad, may peace be upon him, was not only to reform Arabia, the intention of the Quran and our beloved Prophet was to reform the whole world, not only Arabia. If you say, let's analyze this claim, if his main reason was only to reform Arabia, then why should a person use immoral means to make a moral society? Imagine, you want to make a moral society, but you, it, you yourself start by telling a lie. This can only be done by people who are fake, who do it for money. Openly they may say, we want to reform the world, but inwardly they want money. And I've already disproved that the Prophet did not do it for money. So if the final end result is truth, even the means should be truthful. It's mentioned in the Quran, in Surah Anam, chapter number 6, verse number 93, that who can be more wicked than a person who invents a lie against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and says that I have received an inspiration when no inspiration has come to him or says that I can invent a revelation the same as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if the prophet had actually lied he would have never mentioned in his own book that the person who lies is a wicked person in some point of his life maybe his lie would be exposed then he would be calling himself as a wicked person and the verse continues to give a humiliating punishment. Again, it's mentioned in Surah al haqqa chapter number 69, verse number 44 and 47, that if the messenger was to invent a lie in our name, in the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we would seize him by his hand. We would seize him by his right hand and cut off the artery of his heart. And you will not be able to save him from our wrath. Even the messenger is not excused. If any messenger was to invent a lie, let it be even Prophet Muhammad, may peace be upon him. Now's will lie, will never do it. Even if any messenger invents a lie, the Quran says, we will cut off the artery of his heart. There were chances that if the Prophet Muhammad, may peace be upon him, would have lied, surely he would have been exposed in some point of life. And he would be calling, he would be other people to put him to death. A similar punishment is mentioned in Surah Al-Shuara, chapter number 42, verse number 24, as well as in Surah Nahal, chapter number 16, verse number 105. And there are several instances in which the Prophet himself was corrected in the Quran. If the Prophet wrote the Quran for moral reformation, knows Billah, surely he would not have mentioned those things which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not like the Prophet doing. For example, one such verse, one such surah, is Surah Abasa, chapter number 80. It says that, O oh Prophet, when the blind man came interrupting, when the blind man came interrupting, he frowned and turned away. What does thou know, lest he may increase in spiritual guidance or receive admonition? This surah was revealed when a blind man by the name of Abdullah ibn Umm Maktoum interrupted the Prophet when he was having a discussion with the pagan Arabs, the non-Muslims. And the Prophet did not appreciate interruption because when he's speaking with the non-Muslim chief, why should a blind Muslim come interrupt? If it would have been anyone else besides the Prophet, 
let it be a saint or a sinner. No one would have objected. But because the prophet, whose character was so noble, it was so high, whose heart always wept for the poor and the needy, for him, a revelation came down. And whenever the prophet met this person, he always thanked him that because of you, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had remembered me. Several such reproofs have been given in the Quran. For example, in Surah Tahrim, chapter number 66, verse number 1. In Surah Nahal, chapter number 16, verse number 126. In Surah Anfal, chapter number 8, verse number 67. In Surah Tawbah, chapter number 9, verse number 84. In several places, if the Prophet would have written the Quran for moral reformation, he would not have incorporated this in the Quran. Hope that answers the question.